Inside the print cartridge are two main components, the drum and the toner hopper. When a print job starts, the drum begins to turn. It brushes against an electrically charged roller that coats the drum's surface with negative charges of electricity. Electricity sitting on a surface. That is static electricity. The drum has a light-sensitive surface. And as it turns, it gets hit by a pulsing laser beam. Wherever that tiny laser beam hits, it destroys a negative charge of electricity. That creates a neutral space on the drum surface. These neutral spaces are important. As the laser works line by line, zapping the drum one million times per second, it creates more and more neutral spaces until they form an image of the document right on the drum. For that drum to print the image onto the paper, it needs to fill those neutral spaces with toner. This happens by stirring the toner inside the hopper. The toner is engineered so that the friction from the stirring generates static electricity. A negative charge of electricity sits on the surface of each toner particle. So how does the toner get to the drum? Just outside the hopper, there's a roller that's covered with toner. As the drum turns past this roller, toner has no choice. Since the toner carries a negative charge, it's attracted to the neutral spaces on the drum. It obeys the laws of physics and jumps onto those neutral spaces each time the drum rolls past it. At the same time, the toner is repelled by the negative charges that cover the rest of the drum. So the toner only sticks to the spaces hit by the laser. Now the toner forms a mirror image of the document on the surface of the drum. While all this is happening, the printer is charging a piece of paper with positive electrical charges. The rolling drum carries its toner image down onto the paper. And this is the moment of truth. According to the laws of physics, that positive charge on the paper attracts the negatively charged toner with greater force than those neutral spaces on the drum. That greater force of attraction pulls the toner off the drum and onto the page. Now the image of that text is on the paper. One last roller heats up to 200 degrees Celsius. Its job is to melt the toner permanently onto the paper to create a printed page.